Print Extreme, makers of quality vinyl decals. Many decals available on their eBay store. If you cannot find what you need, send them a message and I'm sure they will be happy to help you and even make your decal custom. Visit their eBay store to see for yourself. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and part 2 of the TriStar 777. So in part 1 we got this radio working again. Found out what the um, what the fault was. So let's get straight to it. Let's see if we can bring this radio back to its former glory. So we're going to be fitting one of my boards in here that will give us five bands. So that's four normal bands in UK40 plus alpha channels plus minus 5kc to put it directly onto zeros. So there's the board fitted into where the PLL used to live. Okay, now let's do some tests. So there's mid band. So we've got super low. Low band, mid band, high band and UK40. Excellent. Board seems to be working well and that's just using the KC shift but we'll put a, a dedicated um, offset in this. So first things we need to dissect the original band select. So we're just going to be using the mid band crystal. So the actual band select isn't isn't that bad really. Just crystal select and the um, the um, forty one to eighty display. So we need to take out these switches and connect them to our plus 10kc and minus 5kc so we'll just feed out any unused wires and we'll get rid of them make the install a bit cleaner so there's our switches and there they are wired up on the radio so nice neat job there So now we need to wire up UK offset. So I've taken the KC shift out. Also work out how we're going to do that. I've already pre-wired some wires onto the uh, the band select for this. So we just need to work out exactly how to do it. And luckily, because this board had an EEPROM already fitted, this wire will do nicely. So if we switch this wire in through a pot, this now gives us the UK offset. So very handy. We'll just leave that there. So let's check our VCO across all the bands. Now we've fitted five bands in it. Let's make sure we've got a lock everywhere. Now we just need to check for um, bias on the final output. It's a bit low, so we'll adjust that up. Get that, get that correct. Go, nice point seven of a volt. Now I'm just checking the ten two forty, and I can't seem to get it bang on. But this is close enough. And the crystal must be a little bit lazy, but it's fine. So next test point we need to do, we need to check the 10695 and 10692. So 10695, all good. And then we'll move on to the 10692 and that's all good. So two of the important ones done. Now we're just checking transmit, just make sure it's correct everywhere. Seeing we're using one crystal, just got one adjustment now, and one adjustment will do all. So we need to get these right first before we get the offset correct. 
as you can see the offset is pretty close so overall happy with that everything's pretty close very nice so with our probe on to TP1 now I'm going to check the offsets we should be seeing 20.1035 that's excellent that's close enough okay let's check our two-tone that looks good to me no further adjustment needed there that's good enough for me so on this radio we're going to be fitting a couple of my beeps so here we have high gain five beep and we have a k-tone beep So let's see how we can fit these in the radio nice and neatly. So I've left the relays off these boards because we're going to be using the onboard relay. So oh, Kato works nicely. The high game works nicely. And if we enable both of them, we get both of them as well. But we are going to individually switch these. So just to protect them, I'm going to put some in some in some heat shrink. This heat shrink is mainly meant for wrapping lithium ion batteries, but it works just as good for this then we just need somewhere nicely to put them in the radio so this will do out of the way nicely wired in and we'll use the two unused switches on the front so we've got one switch for the k-tone one switch for the high gain and now let's do something with this front so I'll rub down, sprayed down the front, and same with the front bezel as well. I've filled in any dints and re-sprayed it white around the edges, ready for our new decal. Decals provided by Print Extreme. I did pay for these, but they did give me a bit of a discount for an advert. So there's our cases sprayed up, looking a lot better than what they did. And here's our finished front. I think it looks consider considerably better than what it did. So anyway, there's our TriStar 777. Fitted with five bands, custom decal, a couple of annoying beeps. And brought back to its former glory. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Facebook group, join Patreon. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.